Hello there, I'm Gary Sims from Android Authority. Now last year, Qualcomm took the wraps off the Snapdragon 845, its newest flagship processor. And we were there at the launch event and we've got a couple of videos here on our channel about the new 845. In particular, I've got a whole in-depth look about the internals of the 845 and you can find a link to that just up here. But now we've had a chance to actually do some performance testing using a Qualcomm reference device. So if you wanna know how fast is the Snapdragon 845, please let me explain. Okay, so a few of my colleagues have been down to Qualcomm and they've been looking at a whole bunch of things that Qualcomm are doing, including in the area of 5G. But while they were there, they also got a chance to play with the Snapdragon 845 built into a Qualcomm reference device. And this reference device is basically a uh, smartphone that Qualcomm make for their own testing. And also they share that with their partners to help them build the next generation of smartphones. So this particular device comes with the Snapdragon 845. It's also got uh, six gigabytes of RAM and and of course in the 845 is the Adreno 630 GPU. Now while they were there, they were able to run some benchmarks like Antutu and Geekbench and so on. And we've rerun our tests on some current devices so that we can have a comparison between the phones that are coming in 2018 and what we had from the best of 2017. So the devices we've tested against are the HTC U11 Plus, the Pixel 2 from Google, the Note 8 from Samsung, the uh, LG V30 Plus, and of course the uh, Mate 10 Pro from Huawei. Now three of those devices are running the Snapdragon 835, which of course is last year's flagship processor from Qualcomm, so that's the HTC, the LG, and the Pixel 2 from Google. And then inside the Note 8, you've got the Exynos 8895 from Samsung, and inside the Mate 10 Pro, you've got the Kirin 970, which of course has got the uh, four Cortex uh, A53 cores and the four Cortex A73 cores along with a Mali G72 GPU. So to try to get the best uh, scoring we can, we've run the test multiple times on each device and we've taken the average score that we managed to get during those series of test runs. So without further ado, let's dive in and see what we can find out about the Snapdragon 845. So our first test is Antutu and you can see here that the winner of the last year's devices is the Mate 10 Pro with 212,853. Now let's add in the score for the Snapdragon 845. And there you see 256,805. Now that's a 20% increase in the Antutu scores compared to the best phone of 2017. So next up is the Geekbench 4 scores. Now the Geekbench scores are in two parts. First of all, the single core score, which tells you how fast a single core, the fastest core inside the processor can run. And then you've got the multi-core score, which tells you what happens when it uses all the cores in a multi-threaded application, and they're all going as fast as they can, what kind of speed can be achieved. So let's look at last year's phones. So from last year, the fastest single core score was from the Mate 8 with 2019, and the fastest multi-core uh, processor was the Kirin 970 in the Mate 10 with 6,787. Now let's add in the Snapdragon 845 scores. And there we can see that the single core score has gone up to 2,439. That's a 20% increase over last year's Note 8 with the Exynos 8895. And for the multi-core score, we've now gone over 8,000. 6,787 before, past 7,000, up into 8,000, 8,200, another 20% increase on the overall scores. So I think you'll agree with me, 20% here across uh, Antutu and the two Geekbench scores is a really promising start for the Snapdragon 845. Now next up, we've run some tests using GFX Bench, which is a predominantly 3D uh, test, which of course will really strain the new Adreno 630 GPU. It's just worth noting that all these tests are actually gonna be off-screen tests. That means the GPU is doing all the work it needs to do, but it's not actually output to the screen in the end, and that saves there any discrepancies because of different screen resolutions, but it gives us a very good idea about the power of the GPU behind the screen. So we start with the uh, T-Rex off-screen test, and the Note 8 scored the best score last year with 106 frames per second. And now here we can see that the Snapdragon 845 manages 151 frames a second. 
That's a 42% increase in raw GPU power. Next up is the car chase test, also from GFX Bench. Last year's winner was the Note 8 with 25 frames a second, and now the Snapdragon 845 can manage 35 frames a second, so that's another 40% increase in the GPU. And our final GFX Bench test comes in the form of the Manhattan test that are built into that test suite, all running at full HD. We've got two tests here, some using OpenGL ES 3.1 and some using OpenGL ES 3.0. Now last year the winner for uh, OpenGL ES 3.0 and 3.1 again was the Note 8 with the Exynos 8895, which of course has got the Mali uh, G71 GPU in it, a 20 core Mali G71 GPU in it. And it scored uh, 55 frames a second on the 3.0 test, 42 frames a second on the 3.1 test, but now look at the Snapdragon 845 results with the new Adreno GPU in it. We've got 83 frames a second on the uh, ES 3.0 scores and 61 frames a second on the ES 3.1 scores, so that's a 50% and 45% increase uh, across the board. So here we're dealing with some very, very impressive speed increases in the GPU. So the new GPU, uh, the Adreno 630, is definitely proving to be the GPU to beat for 2018. And finally, to round things off, we've uh, ran the Jetstream JavaScript benchmark, which you run inside the Chrome app on the phone. Of course, the Qualcomm Snapdragon device a reference device was running was running Android. Last year's winner actually for the Jetstream JavaScript test was the HTC U11 Plus with a score of 62.31. And now this year, the Qualcomm reference device managed an 85.99, which is a 38% increase compared to last year. Now, if you take all those scores and kind of do an average across all of the phones from last year, because in some cases the Mate 10 one, in some cases the Note 8 one, in some cases the, uh, UT, the HTC one. And so when we've taken an average of all those, what we've worked out is that the Snapdragon 845 on average is 33 or 34% faster than last year's phones. So of course we've got some big flagship devices coming up uh, this year which should be running the Snapdragon 845. And I think we're gonna see some very impressive uh, performance numbers from these devices. And this is only the reference device from Qualcomm. So it will be really great to see what the OEMs can do with their devices. So I'm really pumped about this. It's gonna be great to see what we get from 2018's smartphones. Well, I'm Gary Sims from Android Authority. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. It's really good if you could subscribe to our channel, hit that bell icon there so you get a notification every time we drop a video. And last but not least, do go over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.